the Note 8 which was announced yesterday and the iPhone 8 which is about to come are the most high phone right now but on the other hand LG is also coming up with his new flagship phone which is the V30. Hey what is up guys this is Idiotic Idiots and let's talk about V30 in this one. First, let's talk something about the release date, launch date and the price of the device. It is confirmed that it's going to launch on August 31st. The release date is not confirmed yet, but it may release sometime in September. The price is also not yet known, but we can expect it to be over $700. Talking about the specs, let's come to the display of the device. The device of the LG V30 may get the OLED full vision display and it is confirmed that it will get a 6 inch QHD plus display. The main focus of the LG V series is their secondary display, but this time it is less likely to be included. They are trying to take it to the new level with this one. They are saying that this time it will be a floating bar on the screen instead of the secondary display. From my perspective, it will be a nice change as compared to the secondary display. Well, let's just see what they have planned for us. They are claiming that the screen will be ideal for VR. The resolution will be 2880 into 1440p with the aspect ratio of 18 is to 9 with a pixel density of 537 ppi. Like the Note 8, the LG V30 will also be powered by the Snapdragon 835 chipset with a GPU of Adreno 540. The device will be rocking with 6 gigs of RAM with the internal storage of 64 gigs. But we can also expect 128 gigs model as well. With the invite reading lights camera action, LG is trying to bring focus on the cameras of the device. With the dual camera setup on the V30, it is likely to have a sensor size of 13 megapixel each. Well, there is a rumor, which is a good rumor according to me, that there won't be any camera bump on this device. Well, the main thing that is tweaked with the cameras of LG is the aperture size. There is an update claiming that LG's V30 will be the first phone to have f1.6 aperture. The f1.6 aperture will get 25% more light than the normal f1.8 aperture, giving it a good low light performance. The cameras will be covered with glass lens rather than the plastic lens. Not much is known about the front camera, but we can expect some tweaks. Apart from all this, let's come to the design of the device. As claimed, the device will be bezel-less and will have a curved display as well. Unlikely to its predecessor V10 and V20, the V30 will not have removable battery, but instead of that, it will be getting IP68 rating. Well, removable battery or water and dust proofing. I will go with water and dust proofing. The fingerprint sensor will be placed at the rear side under the camera like the G6. Well, sorry for that. Like the V10 and V20, there will be a 3.5mm audio jack in the V30 as well. So all the music lover will love this device. Thanks LG. Both the V10 and V20 were known for providing high quality audio, so chances are there, it may be a standout feature for V30 as well. Some recent leaks have suggested that the device will come with a glass panel at the back which will provide us with wireless charging. Focusing on the software section, the device will be running the latest version of Android Nougat, covered with the latest UI that is designed by LG itself. This is all for this video. Comment your thoughts about V30. Will it stand in front of Note 8 and iPhone 8? Well, let me know in the comment section below and also suggest me for my future videos. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like. If you love the video, be sure to subscribe to my channel. As always, it will keep motivating me to do more. This is Idiotic Idiot signing off. Talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.